Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen. 2007 Toyota Corolla S. I uh, having an experience of uh, car won't start. And that's because of, you could say the battery. And as we let our car sit, what happens to the battery? It drains down. So, what's causing this drain? Uh, could it be my LED light of my alarm system? It's a soft LED. It's not one of those uh, real bright lit ones. And it flashes one flash per second. Now, I do go in the car and I start it up every other day. And it's not starting up. I have a solar charger for my roof. It's a 20 plus amp and it can get up to five amps and charge a battery pretty quick. And during the whole day from a dead battery, it takes about five plus hours. My battery's charged. I take it out to the car, it's fully fresh. It reads 13.24. And then it goes down to about 11 volts and that's the end of the battery. And that can go for couple of days to even being overnight it could just see it just go down now I understand about parasite drawers and all that good stuff but that's what everybody's talking about something that's not related to the issue now I did check the voltage uh, with it being off I monitored and I made a decision to get a new battery from Costco and yeah it uh held the charge for a couple of days and sure enough it's dead again so now it gets me thinking it's a little bit more than just a battery so what's happening here because i need to drive the car to charge the battery and i could go for a couple of days but it used to be a month those days are gone now the battery the alternator uh, that's where it may lead to that the alternator may not be good so i have to now go take uh, the terminals of the ohms meter read across the alternator and the battery i also need to check uh the impedance is it the ohms uh, it should read uh, the lowest amount save augment say 0.002 that means there's no drawer but if it reads like one amp then there is a drawer every hour an amp is going to uh, basically uh, you know drain so once I figure that out that each of the fuses I could find a drawer when the car's off then that may be part of the issue and how do you do that you take the negative cable off you take the meter and you put it on the highest amperage nothing could happen and you put one end on the negative and the other end going across the fuse and that will get you your reading I gotta do that underneath the hood as well inside the car is on the dash to the fuses i think that's what i have to do i know i have to do that i also got to go across the uh the alternator and measure it off and on i gotta check the grounds there's a lot i have to do to rule out my alternator i want to rule out that it's my alarm system and I do not want to take every single wire off of the alarm system. Maybe I could just pull the harness out. So those are my thoughts of having a battery that is just simply draining. The funny thing is, this happened on my 91 Toyota Corolla as well. So just having a car sit there cannot you know, make an alternator go bad just don't know so what are your thoughts about this about the uh, power uh, of a battery brand new from Costco 
battery could be sitting, the electrolytes could be uh, on the bottom. Uh, it may be a defective battery. Uh, you never know. So a lot of troubleshoots go into this. So on that note, I want to thank you very much for stopping by.